Hi, my name is Rachel and I am an artist and I am on the autism spectrum. I'm going to read this book, The Masterpiece, in honor of Autism Awareness Month. It teaches us all a lesson. Even if someone may look a little different or act a little different than you, we need to accept everyone. People with autism spectrum disorders are awesome. The Masterpiece, written by Mr. J, painted by Luis Perez. In the back of the studio, behind lumps of clay, to the left of the canvas where the paint cans would spray, on a dusty old table that was littered with chalk, the paintbrushes gathered for an artistic talk. The first one to speak was a paintbrush named Reese, who said, let's create a grand masterpiece. Something with color to fill many pages, to be remembered by all, and to last through the ages. The paintbrushes cheered and raced to begin, except for one brush who didn't join in. A brush named Estelle sat off to the side and stared at the wall with her eyes open wide. She rocked back and forth as though in a small boat and sang to herself with a single low note. Her single note song, her continuous hum, and the others knew well where this hum had come from. They had heard it before and knew this was her way then two went on over to ask her to play. They gave her some paint, red, yellow, and blue. If you'd like to come paint, we'd love to have you. So the brushes got started with large vibrant strokes, painting valleys and lakes, elm trees and oaks. They created a forest with a sleepy brown fox and on one of the hillsides, they painted some rocks. They all worked together, setting mood theme and tone, when they noticed that Byron had gone off on his own. He ignored all the others. He had not made a sound. He just painted in circles around and around. It was clearly quite different. There could be no denying, but they didn't make fun or send him off crying. Instead, they all stopped and re-scathered the crew, and for just a few moments, they made circles too. They painted some more and worked well as a team when they suddenly heard a startling scream. They jumped back in shock and turned around to see that one who had screamed was a paintbrush named Lee, who spun all around, shaking all of his bristles as paint hit the canvas like green dotted missiles. Then he made a green splotch and an angry green line, while Reese calmed the others, don't worry, it's fine. He just can't control it, there's no need to be scared, and the next time it happens, you'll be more prepared. The outburst had ended and they all settled down and added some more colors, pink, purple, and brown. They worked through the day, then stopped and admired the wisdom their now painted canvas inspired. Their Painting was perfect, it all meshed just fine, with its colorful circles and angry green line. It was a true masterpiece, not one thing was wrong, including the hum of their single note song. The end.